What's up, everybody? Massless Gamer back. Gonna continue uh, our man and Medan. Uh, to catch you up, uh, watch the uh, first one. Now we're all caught up. I hate the Our ocean, but I love being on boats. Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Oh, calm down. It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. Like, I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Fuck yeah, I do. Uh, it's... Hey there. hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? Yeah, what's wrong with you? No, it was pretty unbelievable. Something up? You can talk to me, really. I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. No. What's next? Well, you just proposed. So I think you didn't we've think got that a through. Long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm, Jesus, just I love you, Alex. Get it over with. You know where everybody is? I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Yeah, sit out here and try to figure out what it means hey, to get engaged. Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Back off. Apologize for my brother. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Ooh. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Where are you? Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Hey, what? You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. Has everybody got to fuck with this thing? So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are So, we're going again tomorrow? It's the bullet! So awesome! Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Jesus. Only been out down here hey, for a second. Almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Yeah, sleeping got on a it. boat is Let's awesome. Go up. Come here, you vixen. Oh, give it a rest. There's other people here. Hey, tiger. We should get back. Right here.
What we got? Yeah, no. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find what? some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? Yeah, if we don't this run into that hurricane. This plane shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking Easy. about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Um, snap right. decisions. Come on. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. That is totally you. You know it. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. Hey. I never thought about it like that. You never mouth, think Julia. about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Yeah. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? That's yeah. Way to change the subject there, Alex. Happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Ah, uh, big bro. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Uh, put it away, Connie. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Almost nice. an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Shut up. I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Giblets. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper <laughs> creeps over to the closet. A good time. Opens the door and... Sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Fucking <laughs> Christ, Brad. Oh, hey, old. super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Uh, just don't be a bitch. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Why you gotta be a dick all okay. the time? You've all had Jesus. your fun? We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. I'd still be hanging around for this. So what are you gonna do? Ah, oh, sleeping on a boat's so awesome. Well, sometimes, not all the time. Shit! Holy crap, I can't believe I did that. I was not ready. Hey, sh shit's happening. Holy crap, I can't believe I got that. Ah, I just put that together. The shirt says Salem. Little hopes about witch trials. That's pretty cool. Hey, easy. Easy. Fuck up your other eye. This is all on you, Connie. Uh, I just want to hear her talk. Yeah, talk to Bliss. Alex can shut up for a while. You just had to piss them off, didn't you? Uh. Hey, you're sorry. God damn it. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't help now, Connie. Goddamn hands off her. Almost free. Jesus, good thing she's flexible, because I'm not. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of. Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Ah, uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. Probably I'm cut your head off. Here. I'm in a lot of danger. Uh, 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 investigate. <sighs> Come on, I gotta work on these snap decisions. Terrible at them. You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna run in a cell. Yeah, you tell them. <laughs> shit. Fuck oh, out. that hurts. I'll that be hurts. back for you later. Well, we all need something to look forward to. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. 
You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. And a girl. Shut up, Connie. I don't feel bad at all. Hit him again. Yeah, I'll be serious this for a moment. What do you fuckers want? Yeah, not such a badass now, are you, Connie? Slow down. Easy. Uh, stop. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. And again, need something to look forward to. Get off me. Get That's off what he was saying. <laughs> they oh, punched Jesus him a lot. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dipstick. I don't Love think it. they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Flizz. Flesh sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Hey, easy. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. They already saw your hands, okay. Alex. They're coming. Jesus Christ. You guys aren't very organized. Fuck There's a curator fuckers. in the window. See him? That's cool. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about. You seem upset parents. about that. What? How much money they uh -oh. have? Oh. Want to get the dollars? To wait and see what they want to do with us. I'm sure it'd be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. Well, he's got kind a gun. Of. It's a speed well, canoe. At least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Uh, I yeah, you can get on. If the boat. you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and right. get to the boat. This feels like a terrible Let's idea. But okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
<laughs> I did it. Conrad, just get to the boat. Quietly, Connie. Shit. Go fuck yourself. Hello. Escape. You know what? I've had enough. Go! For God's sakes, right get on the now. boat! Get off my damn boat! Today, Connie. Today. Jesus. Oh, there they go. We can't catch him with this old junker. Yeah. At least this one doesn't have a hole in it. Our buddy's gonna round up the cavalry. You lose. A little early to talk there shit. When all you have is a knife. No! Alex, this is crazy. Conrad's coming back with help. For now? Not anytime soon. Oh, fuck's sake, shoot him. I'm done. You win. Wait, maintain the status quo, Alex. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Okay, well... Connie got away. Sit down. Probably make it to shore and over there. Get drunk and you, right here. Get arrested for groping Sit. someone. No. Arrêtez bon de con. C'est mon bateau. Oh. Stop. Oh, that, that's hot. Je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Hey, hey. Come here. Oh, I took my contacts off, so now I can see. They don't dry out. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian gold? Manchurian gold. Ah, I wish I could talk like you. Maybe just. Twenty more years of smoking. Are you sure he should be driving the boat? He's got a pretty massive blind spot to his left. Think Connie's okay? Who cares? All right, shut the fuck up. That is no quote. I mean, just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Inside voices. Fliss has got to be in on this. Whoa. Gee, these guys, they travel in the same waters. Whoa. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Show me evidence, you piece of shit. Yeah, get mad. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? Mm. How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? Oh. You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, asshole. What a cork in it. Seriously. Oh, shh. Yeah, bless, man. Sit still, all of you. Oh, man. This is pure you instinct. Come with me. Oh, you single? Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? 
and there be consequences. Get it. Oh no, I have to make a life or death decision. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Uh, I just hey, maintain uh, status just quo. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah, it's not the weather. It's the three uh, pirates. Okay. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Got three pirates with five eyes. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Right. Let's start with the blonde girl. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Nope, hold on. Julia, you're on your own. Hey, move it now. What's happening? Good job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership. Flex. You're about to get your fucking nose Anyone broken. Know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Conrad said he was hiding under the bunk beds. Uh. He could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Yeah, that's what oh, I. Yeah, that's what right. Fliss you just said. Killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Uh oh, big ship. Big ship. Oh! <laughs> okay, didn't remember that. Yet. Ah. Fucking up Fliss's boat. Everyone's still alive. Yes. Despite my best efforts. Be quite different. I'm only half an hour in. Oh, well, maybe I'll call it. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time... Who did I save? Does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? Oh, Brad. I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Hmm. Let me... Uh... What will be, will be. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. Possibly. We'll learn soon enough. Yes, we will. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I mm -hmm. presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Oh, okay. I thought you were just a cool old man, but you're an alcoholic. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that.
Oh. All right. I think it's uh, going to end this episode here. Um, just because I have a feeling from here on, it's going to be an hour in between the curator cutscenes. So, uh, yeah. I'll have this one half hour, roughly, episode. And then uh, next time it'll be a full hour. So, like I've said before, people don't watch my 20 minute videos. So, or an hour long one. So, let's, let's try a 30 minute one. What do you say? So, yeah. Uh, next time we'll uh, start off right from here, boarding the, uh, well, horrific ghost ship. So, till next time, Massless Gamer. <laughs>